Hey there, Halloween lovers. Gather around, because I've got a spine-chilling vampire tale that's sure to get you in the spooky spirit. It was a foggy Halloween night in the small, secluded town of Ravenswood. The full moon hung high in the sky, casting ghostly shadows over the cobblestone streets. Among the flickering jack-o'-lanterns and eerie decorations, there was one house that stood out, an ancient, decrepit mansion at the edge of town. Legend had it that the mansion was home to a vampire who had roamed the earth for centuries. His name was Count Alaric, and he was known for his insatiable thirst for blood and his charm that could entrance anyone who crossed his path. On this particular Halloween night, a young woman named Eliza decided to test her bravery. Dressed in her witch costume, she approached the mansion, her heart pounding with a mix of fear and excitement. The creaking gate welcomed her with an ominous groan. As she stepped inside, the air grew colder and the shadows seemed to dance with sinister intent. Eliza's flashlight flickered, casting eerie shapes on the walls. She could feel the presence of something, or someone, watching her. Suddenly the door slammed shut behind her. Eliza spun around, her breath quickening. There he stood, Count Alaric, with his piercing eyes and a smile that sent shivers down her spine. Welcome, my dear, he said in a voice as smooth as silk. You've come to my home on the perfect night. Eliza tried to speak, but her voice was caught in her throat. The Count took a step closer, his eyes never leaving hers. You see, he continued, I only feast on Halloween when the veil between our worlds is thinnest. With a swift, graceful motion, he was beside her, his breath cold against her neck. Eliza closed her eyes, bracing herself for what was to come. But instead of the bite she expected, she felt a gentle touch. Count Alaric handed her a small, ornate vial filled with crimson liquid. Drink this, he whispered, and you shall join me in eternal night. Eliza hesitated, but curiosity got the better of her. She drank and as the liquid coursed through her veins, she felt herself changing. Her senses heightened, her fear dissolved, and a new hunger awoke within her. The Count smiled, revealing his fangs. Happy Halloween, my dear. And from that night on, Eliza was never seen again. But the townsfolk would whisper of a new vampire that roamed the streets, her eyes as mesmerizing as the Count's. So next time you're out trick-or-treating, remember, be careful where you wander. You never know what might be lurking in the shadows. Thanks for tuning in and have a spooky Halloween.